mindfully trickles into all areas of my life, including my finances. I view frugal living as a way to spend my money intentionally and with purpose without being wasteful. Living frugally, I don't feel like I deprive myself or compromise my quality of life in any way. I look at my finances much like I look at other aspects of my life and I prioritize the things that are really important to me like health and family. All of us are going to spend money in different places because we have different priorities, goals, and lifestyles. Here are a few of my frugal living tips that help me save money. Specialty coffee drinks can be very expensive, especially if it's a daily occurrence. I love good coffee, and I will spend a little bit more at the grocery store for good coffee grounds. I enjoy my morning ritual of boiling water in the kettle and slowly pouring it over the grounds in the ceramic dripper. I add raw honey and MCT oil. Topped with frothed cream. It's delicious and just the way I like it. In a world of fast fashion, many clothing items are outdated and discarded within a few months. Having a simple wardrobe capsule is the best thing I've done to live frugally. The neutral colors and timeless articles of clothing allow me to mix and match each item, giving me countless options. Buying quality items means they last longer and in turn, I purchase less clothes. I like to plan and prep my meals. This really simplifies my life so much because when dinner time comes around, I don't have to put in a lot of extra effort or thought into what I'm gonna make because I already have everything on hand. I also don't have to make a last minute trip to the grocery store. Plus, when I have everything ready for my meals, then I'm less tempted to eat out. I plan out my weekly meals and make a list of the grocery items I need to pick up. And then I stick to the list. Inflation is rising the cost of food. So I only buy what I need for the meals. I have found that the impulse items can really knock me off track, both from my budget and my fitness goals. And usually those impulse items go to waste. Farmer's markets are the absolute best in the summertime. Buying local and in-season produce supports local farmers and the produce is always fresh. I don't buy overly processed foods like packaged cookies, crackers, and other snacks. I also don't spend money on convenience food items like frozen or pre-packaged foods. I stick to a whole food diet which whole foods are usually cheaper and healthier. <laughs> Living mindfully and frugally, I began making our family's toiletries and household cleaning items about eight years ago. It costs pennies to make and I really feel better about the chemicals that I'm not putting on my body or into my home. I have found that these products actually work just as well, if not better, than store-bought. 
I make shampoo from a mixture of Castile soap, baking soda, and water. My conditioner is a simple mix of half apple cider vinegar and half water that I spray on my hair and rinse. My homemade body butter is incredibly moisturizing. I love how it makes my skin look smooth and glowing. I make it with three equal parts of coconut oil, shea butter, and cocoa butter. Many people find it hard to believe, but I also make homemade deodorant that is actually better than anything I've ever bought. It only has two ingredients, coconut oil and baking soda. I make simple cleaning supplies for windows, all-purpose spray, dusting spray, and air freshener. Using basic ingredients like water, vinegar, olive oil, rubbing alcohol, and essential oils for a variety of products. These Easy, simple to make cleaning supplies cost very little and they work great. I will leave a link below of videos that show how I make these products. When I plan and prep my meals for the week, I make sure that I include plenty of ingredients for lunches. I have always made lunches for my kids for school, myself and my husband also packs his own lunch. The cost of lunch for several family members five days a week can really add up. Taking a bit of time to plan and prep lunch the night before saves money and stress. We love to travel. It doesn't matter if it's a day trip or a quick weekend getaway. Because we don't eat fast food, I pack a small cooler or a backpack for lunch. If we are on a road trip for many days, I'll stop at the grocery store and buy a baguette, fruit, veggies, hummus for lunch. This is far healthier and more cost-effective than fast food. Buying disposable products requires me to always continue rebuying the same things over and over, and it also puts a lot of waste into the landfill. I use silicone Ziploc baggies and cloth bread bags in place of plastic baggies. I don't buy paper plates, plastic cups, or utensils. In place of plastic water bottles, Everyone in the family has a metal water bottle that we fill before any of us leave the house. An old-fashioned metal razor for shaving works wonderfully and keeps plastic disposable razors out of the landfill. A package of 50 razor blades costs under $10 and will last me over two years. My health is very important to me and I make it a priority. However, I've never been one to go to the gym and run on a treadmill, but I have been physically active my entire life. I grew up in the mountains and have been hiking since I could walk. If I can hike, I will. And if I'm not near the mountains, I'll take a walk in my neighborhood. 
I've been practicing yoga for 25 years and have a daily practice. Yoga is fantastic because I can do it at home, outside, or go to a yoga studio. My husband, however, loves the gym and is a total gym rat. So wherever we're living, he finds a local gym that is the most cost-effective. Right now, his gym membership only costs $10 a month. Being frugal doesn't mean that we never eat out at restaurants. My husband and I love date night and the experience of dining in a nice restaurant with some amazing food. Plus, we like to meet up with our friends at restaurants too. But I like to be intentional about how much money we choose to spend at a restaurant. Eating out is one expense that I have complete control over. I set aside a budget amount for eating out every month. This way, I'm never surprised at the end of the month when I look at my bank account by the amount we spent on restaurants. If we have a special occasion, our eating out budget might go mostly to just that one meal, or we stretch out our budget across several less expensive meals out. I live in an extreme four season climate. So the winters are really cold and the summers are very hot. To offset the cost of heating in the winter and cooling in the summer, I keep the house a bit cooler in winter and warmer in summer. Humans were never meant to always live in perfect 72 degree weather. My cozy sweater and fuzzy socks make sense on a cold winter day. Just as a light summer dress is what should be worn on a hot summer day. Thanks so much for watching today. I hope that you found value in this video. If you did, I invite you to please click subscribe. Have a beautiful day.